A man threatened to punch me today when I was having a conversation with him and he told me that I should stop talking about what I'm talking about because this is the type of conversation that will lead him to get into a physical fight. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened, but first I just wanna make some points. I wanna talk about how we as Christians are to interact with people and what the purpose and focus of our interactions should be. The main purpose of our interactions with people is to communicate the light and love of Christ, to be a good witness for Christ. There's a passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It says that, um, that God gave us the ministry of reconciliation through the gospel, which is to preach the gospel so that man can be reconciled to God. And then it also says that we are ambassadors of Christ. Therefore, we are ambassadors of Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. So this is our focus. This should be our mindset. So with that being said, if we are preaching the gospel to people, we should never be afraid of doing that. We should always preach the gospel to people regardless of, of what the potential is for, for conflict or, or whatever may happen. Now, it's true that if a person isn't happy with what we're saying and they're getting angry and they, they ask us to stop talking about it, then we should respectfully uh, stop talking about it. And maybe there might be another opportunity at some point to be able to speak to the gospel, um, speak to them about the gospel. But what we should never do, what we should always be very cautious against is getting into conversations, unnecessary conversations that have the potential to be a stumbling block to people, that have a potential to discredit our witness for Christ and our reputation. And if we do venture into a conversation where we can see there's some dangers that are starting to take place, wisdom would, would suggest that we should use the discernment to, to pull back from that because most likely nothing good's gonna happen from that. So now before I tell you exactly what happened in this particular conversation and, and what we were talking about, I just wanna give you one example of, of the type of conversation that I'm talking about that can be an unnecessary distraction and even harm to our witness for Christ. So one thing um, that is very um, controversial, that can be very tense, that can be very emotional for people, is politics, particularly talking about Donald Trump. So many of us as Christians, we agree with most of his policies, not all, but most of his policies because they most closely align with the, the biblical morality. Um, and obviously the policies of the Democrats are uh, in contrast, incredibly immoral, biblically. Um, but many of us, as well as Christians, as we should, is um, that we would not approve of, of many of the things in Donald Trump's personal life, his, his adultery, the uh, running of casinos, um, and the way that he, um, the manner in which he speaks to people at times as well when he interacts. So there's a distinction there. But what happens is, uh, if we're gonna get into a conversation like that with people, um, sometimes people can't see beyond the distinction of his policies and his character and all that they can see no matter what you might try to explain is that you approve of a person who in their eyes is grossly immoral and what that does is it actually compromises the witness of the gospel you as a Christian because they're thinking this person believes in Jesus Christ and they're trying to preach the gospel to me but they're approving of, of this particular person um, and in many cases, rightfully so, for those things that I have mentioned, although obviously the media has blown um, many other things out of proportion too. So in the particular conversation that I was having with this person, I, I fell into a bit of a trap. I didn't use discernment. I think sometimes um, living in this society, we can just get so sick of the fact that everyone's allowed to have their say um, apart from Christians. And... Um, after the election result, I was very happy with the fact that Donald Trump won for the, for the reasons that I mentioned, his policies. Um, and I was up at the park and I was talking to someone, there's a few of us that um, wanted Trump to win. Uh, we want to return to the common sense of normality and, and the craziness to, to really be pulled back. And there was one person that uh, he is a liberal and he uh, loses his mind 
when you talk about Trump. So I've actually refrained for a while in interacting in any of those types of conversations. But after the election, I was up there and I fell into the trap with one of the other guys and we started talking about Trump. But this guy couldn't get away from the character of Trump and very early in the conversation, he was getting so frustrated and heated and he said to me, um, he goes, uh, Matt, you should stop talking about this right now because this is the type of thing that I can get into a physical fight over. So I was in a bit of disbelief um, and I, I stopped at that point um, and I sort of walked away from him. Uh, later on, I walked, walked back over to the area and he says, oh, are, are you still talking with me? And I said, yeah, yeah, there's, there's no problem. And, and we talked, but I actually went away from there and I went back home and I felt guilty. I thought to myself, Matt, why did you fall into that trap? You, you knew that there was gonna be no good outcome from this and you fell into that trap and all that that can do is make people think, even if it's not true, that you agree with, with all of Trump's character or large aspects of it and it compromises the witness for Jesus Christ. So even if I was completely correct in everything I said, you can win the argument on facts but you can actually lose the person and ultimately it's a reminder, it really cut me deep and I need to keep in mind the fact that I am an ambassador for Christ, I'm there to preach the gospel of reconciliation and I need to avoid anything that's going to get in the way of that. We'd love to get your thoughts. Um, if people are open to certain different conversations, that's a different story, but when they're closed off like that, we should be very discerning. Leave your comments below, talk to you soon. God bless you, friends.